Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I will be demonstrating a number of ways to troubleshoot and resolve the problem of USB port not working in either Windows 7, 8 or 10. Here I'm assuming you have a functional USB stick, however when you connect to the USB port on your PC, then it doesn't show up in your computer folder. Now you can try one or more of these solutions. Here I will be presenting them in the order of complexity so you don't have to waste your time trying some complicated fix when actually a few clicks could have solved your problem. And with that said, let's jump right into it. So first, if you are experiencing this problem just after installing your Windows, be it Windows 7, 8 or 10, then you want to start off by running a simple Windows update with your PC connected to the internet. To do that, you go to your search and type check for updates then click on check for updates from the search results and a window like this would pop up here you click on check for updates and allow the update checking to run this simple process not only updates your usb drivers which could eventually fix your usb problems but also is an easy way to download install and update other device drivers on your pc be it graphics cards, sound cards, wireless cards, HDMI or any other devices you may have on your PC. So here you can see the progress of the updates. It could take a while depending on how much updates your PC needs to install. And if you are prompted to authorize the installation of the updates, then simply click accept and install and then hit the install button to begin the update installation. Usually the first update after installing Windows could take quite some time depending on the speed of your internet connection so you might need to wait a bit. Now if running a systems update doesn't fix the problem, then the next fix would be to try using the Windows troubleshooting tool in your Windows settings. To do that you go to your search and type troubleshoot. Then click on troubleshoot from the search results under system settings. It will open up a troubleshoot tool where it says find and fix other problems. Here you want to click on hardware and devices. Then click on run the troubleshooter. Now after a moment, a window like this will pop up which says hardware and devices detecting problems. Now this process could run for a moment and if any of your devices have some errors, it will be listed in the results here. You could have multiple devices to select from and if you don't see a device that matches your USB then you could first select the unknown device option because sometimes when device drivers are not properly installed then the device will appear as unknown device. Now if you don't see unknown device in the list of your results then choose I don't see my device listed. So here I will choose unknown device and click next. Then it says checking for missing drivers. And after a while it changes to scanning for hardware changes. When the process is complete, you could see a result that says install a driver for this device with the option to either apply the fix or skip the fix. The result could also be to just restart your PC to finish installing drivers and updates. In any case, just choose apply this fix and wait for the process to complete. And here it says we have installed the current drivers but they might not be the latest click below or visit manufacturer support website to check for updated drivers now if you choose to check for updated drivers then it will automatically redirect you to the windows update page and if you haven't run windows update yet then you can proceed with that here but i already did so i will go back to this window and hit next then it will run for a moment and then pops up a window like this saying the troubleshooting has completed and in this case the driver wasn't installed so i will proceed with the next fix now for this next fix we would manually update our usb drivers to do that you go to your device manager in the control panel then scroll down to where it says universal serial bus controllers Click on the drop down to the left and it will display a list of USB controllers. Here you want to update your generic USB hubs and your USB root hubs. 
To do that, simply right click each of them and choose update driver. Then, on this window, you search automatically for updated driver software and then allow the process to run. For each of them, you should ensure that it says the best driver for your device is already installed. Then try to check and see if your USB port now works fine. If you still can't access your USB device, then you should try reinstalling your USB controllers. This is similar to the previous process, only that this time, instead of selecting update drivers, I'm going to select uninstall device. And again, you have to do that for all the generic USB hubs and the USB root hubs. This will make a clean install of your USB drivers and would help clean up any corrupt drivers you may have on your USB ports. After uninstalling them, then go to your device manager menu, click on the action and then click scan for hardware changes. Wait for a moment and Windows will automatically install back your USB controller drivers. Now check and see if you can access your USB devices. The last fix for this tutorial would be to visit your manufacturer support website and manually download and install the corresponding USB drivers to your PC. Now this could be a little trivial because first, not all laptops have the USB drivers on the manufacturer support page. Obviously because the USB driver should install automatically when you install Windows or at least when you run Windows updates. However, some PCs may require you to manually download and install one or two USB drivers, especially for the USB 3.0 controllers. So you could check and see if the faulty USB ports are the 3.0 version. An easy way to find out is by looking at the marking beside or on top of the USB port. If you see the normal USB sign like this, then it's a USB 2.0 version. But if you see a USB sign with double S which stands for super speed, then it's a 3.0 version. Some manufacturers color code the USB 3.0 version to blue, but others still leave it as black but with a double S sign. So if you have a 3.0 version, then you may need to download and install the drivers manually. For instance, here I have HP Elite Book 8540W. To obtain the USB 3.0 driver, I will open up my browser and search HP Elite Book 8540W drivers. Then click on the corresponding support page from HP. By the way, it's always advisable to download your drivers from the manufacturer support page. Otherwise, you might end up installing some unwanted applications that could affect your PC negatively. So here I will hit go. Then select the operating system, which case is Windows. Now for the version, if you are running Windows 10 and you don't find Windows 10 in the list, then you can download the Windows 7 equivalent. So here I will choose Windows 7 64-bit and hit change. Now you want to scroll down to where it says firmware. Then click to enlarge the options. Now search for where it says USB 3.0 controllers. Now for this one, it says NEC USB 3.0 controller firmware update utility. Yours could be something else but in the line of USB 3.0. Now I will click on the download and after downloading, all you need to do is to just install in the same way you would install any other applications. Hope one of these solutions would work for you. If you have any questions regarding the procedures in this tutorial, you can post in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a like if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this. And as usual, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.